Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be doing a little bit, something a little bit different on the channel. Calling at Orchard Beach. Tide's okay today. I think we could get some rocks. But um, we're gonna do a run and dr drive, build breakdown, one consecutive run. So the thing that really helped me with the truck was the wheelbase. Come on, come on. Yeah, so we increased the wheelbase to 1280. And we changed the link. So the first thing is flip the right flip the lower link uh, mounts on the axles. Front and rear, and I changed the links. So combined with flipping the, the link mount and the links it's 12 8 and then when I flip the links you see the front one I put these like a bent a link that's bent in to give me a little bit more um, clearance here so when I did that the drive shaft got in the way so it was kind of hitting. So I put on some used deluxe drive shafts that have front and rear. And you know, it's been, it's been rock solid since. Just doing some. So what else did I do? Another thing that I did is that we changed out the servo we have an, a power hobby 900 mg servo it's a direct power servo crazy strong i think on 3s it's like almost a thousand ounces it's worth which is crazy oh, wow. uh we got a winch she's in a need a winch all trucks, need, all trucks need a winch. So we got a Power Hobby internal spool winch. Really good, <laughs> crazy powerful. Ah, uh, let's see if we can make this. One take. Uh, what else do we got done to it? Tires. We have the Proline. What are these? Crawler tires. I've been breaking them in a little bit. Orchard Beach is an awesome spot to break in tires. These, this, this rock is like sandpaper here. Like sandpaper. The wheels. We have SSD wheels. If we go back out of this, come back down. We have a uh, SSD wheels. They're my kind of go-to wheel. They just work for everything. It, like you could put 2.2 wheel patties in there if you want. They got just so much clearance. Now inserts. These are my own design inserts. I designed them. <coughs> I printed them. And they're actually pretty darn good. This is 40 degrees, about 40 degrees out here. The side is nice and tight, nice and soft. They do really good. I'm gonna be selling those on, oh, let's not go that way. Tide's pretty high up there today. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, let me, let me get to a nice clean area and I'll show you guys. Remember, this is just one big take today. No separate runs and blah, blah, blah. So you're gonna see all my fuck ups. I don't want 
all that water. This is salt water, guys. So definitely don't want to anything crazy to the truck. So my link mounts in the back, the shocks. Normally the shock towers are on the outside of the rails. I put them on the inside of the rails to give me more of an angled shock. Another thing I did is since I increased the wheelbase, I kind of lost um some belly clearance. So what I did is I raised the rear of the truck. So the rear shock tower, the shocks, are on the bottom holes towards the back, as you can see. So that increased the, you know, the ground clearance a little bit. Increased the ground clearance, gave me a little bit more breakover. Oh, let's see if I can get up here without getting in the water. No. Let's try to use the winch. Try to use the power hobby winch. Ah, one hand. Tough one hand. Really tough. Try this one more time. Oh, that's it. Right, let's try this rock. Not the greatest at winching, guys. Bad spot over here, bad spot. Bad spot. But again, one big take for you guys. Another little tweak I did was I changed out those heavy ass bumpers, the fusion bumpers. I put the regular some bumpers, front and rear. Man, the stock bumpers, I think, weighed almost like 160 grams. Crazy heavy. Alright, somebody removed the rock over here. So we're just going to jump over. You know, I don't want to go in this water. The salt water. I don't mind me going in it. With the truck, no, no, no. Right. Let's try to make this crawl. So I'm gonna come up this way. Come up this way. Try to go a different way. Try to get a better angle for you. Gnarly little one. Ooh. I don't think the truck was happy there. Come on, hold on, baby. I think it's just too tall for me. I'm gonna get this. Alright, let's move on. But overall, the truck is pretty darn good. Now, I'm st still doing some more little, little tweaks. 
I put a bigger pinion in. So we had some trail runs last week. So I'm definitely feeling, you know, a little bit less torque. Definitely feeling a little bit less torque. Let's see, where else can we go? What else should I do with this truck? Tires, wheels. Um, ooh, we got another cool one. I don't think I'm gonna make. Last time I tried this with the 12 five wheel base, I said it makes it. the wings made it a little bit lighter yeah pretty much all my cvds so the front cvds a lot of some guys i'm not even gonna say a lot of come on baby definitely not making that fun oh so the front CVDs, a lot of guys were breaking um, pins on it. Pins on the CVDs. The pins are, I think, two millimeter diameter by 12 millimeter. I I, I kept breaking them. Thread right off the screw and all. Like I, I just gave up. So what I did is I got 2.5 millimeter diameter pins. I drilled out all the holes. So now my front has two and a half millimeter pins. And we're gonna see how it goes today. So I can get through today without breaking one. You know they're working. Cause I couldn't go a day without breaking a pin. All right, let's see if I can. So the object, this one is to get across this way, and crawl up. Up lines today really challenging this truck. Yeah, I gotta change that opinion. Nice. See that. Nice little tire wrinkle. Exactly what you need. Uh, anything else? I did to the truck. Oh, another big thing I did was I changed. Whoa. I took out the front limited springs. So now there's no limited. Uh, I'm not going to say limited springs. Droop springs. I got the front root springs and I put in, I took them out in front and rear. Oh, it's kind of lining up good for you guys. And I changed the oil. I have 100 oil on the rear, 50 oil on the front. And it seems to be working okay. Make the shocks feel good. A better angle. The shocks feel good. Ah, oh, we're tightening up. We're good. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Try it one more time. What else did I do? Just a like just small little changes can help them. I 
I don't think my wet tires are helping. There we go. Bring the front down. Nice tire wrinkle. Alright, let's try to go down. Some of those. Yeah, the bigger pinion helps when you're when you're trailing, but today you know, I'm giving it a lot more gas than I normally do. A lot more gas. Yeah. Definitely doesn't want to go up that way. So what else did I do? The winch. Oh, I have these cool. Let me bring. Let's see right there, the truck wants to be stolen. Let me bring the truck closer to me. I did some. I made some other stuff. So I kind of made these things, which is on my cult store. So I put a link in the description. So they're pretty cool because you can hook up like this, grab a body, hook up to the side, then in the back. Pretty darn cool. Fix this. So yeah, that's the Red Cat. Simple stuff. I didn't really do much to it. Does okay. No, could use a little bit more tweaks. But um, yeah, any questions, leave them even in the description later.